Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk a bit more about the supposed Black Ops 4 leak because man, yesterday we got some more details and teases, but still Treyarch has not yet commented on anything. They've remained silent this entire week so far, but I've got a feeling that silence is going to break very, very soon here. But uh, in case you guys missed it, yesterday James Harden, who's a shooting guard for the Houston Rockets, was walking to the locker room during the game with a hat with a logo that has a lot of people speculating that this is going to be the logo go for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, but instead of it being the Roman numerals for 4, which would be an I and a V, there's four little lines and a lot of people are getting upset because they're saying this isn't the Roman numerals for 4. I guess another possible idea is this could be tally marks, but uh, I don't know, maybe for Black Ops 5 there's going to be a line going through them all, or maybe they're just going to keep on expanding the eyes a bunch of times like that gif that's pretty funny. Uh, I don't know, but as of right now, this is what we have so far, but it's really not unknown for celebrities to participate in a viral marketing campaign when it comes to Call of Duty, especially when it comes to wearing merchandise. For example, Roy Hibbert, who is a center, he's kind of washed now, but he posted a picture on his Instagram of him wearing a t-shirt for Black Ops 3's viral marketing campaign, and then a singer by the name of Cody Simpson also posted a picture of him wearing the same exact t-shirt. So professional athletes and pop stars have been involved with stuff like this before, and if we start to see more and more celebrities wear the same little hat or t-shirt with the same logo, then I think that's some pretty solid evidence that this is going to be the logo for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Also guys, on the side of the hat, there's an emblem for a company called New Era, and these guys have designed Call of Duty hats in the past before, so that's something you want to take into consideration. Uh, the emblem is kind of blurry, but you can still make it out when Harden turns his head to the side, but uh, I don't know, just in the video, he really makes it known that he wants people to see the hat he's wearing he even looks down at the camera so they can get a good angle and he's even looking directly at it so some very very interesting stuff there but also guys one more thing I want to bring up is over on Twitter David Vondahar has now changed his profile picture to an Xbox Live avatar of himself and this is pretty odd because Call of Duty is on the PlayStation marketing rights when it comes to early release for DLC and that kind of stuff but for some reason he changed it to something that involves the Xbox now I do doubt this means Xbox or Microsoft has the rights again but there still is a possibility and the only evidence that I can think of right now is I believe after World War II Sony's contract with Activision ended uh, but of course they can choose to extend it still or something but it just does kind of make sense for Activision to you know want to stay on the PlayStation for consoles considering they are the market leaders when it comes to gaming consoles and of course the partnership has worked out pretty well for both parties over the past three years so really there isn't a reason to uh, you know break things up like why mess up something that's working pretty well But as an owner of both systems I really would love for everyone to receive DLC at the same time so that way it's fair uh, But again, I really just don't see Activision signing with Microsoft because at the end of the day They got to look at this from a business side and the marketing is there with Sony and that's what Activision will probably go with again So no, I don't think this means Xbox will get exclusivity deals if they do I mean that's cool It doesn't really bother me too much since I own both systems, but as a fan I want everyone to receive DLC at the same exact time. Heck, considering how much money Activision makes, it's better for everyone to get the maps for free because that way they can, you know, please the fans. And they already make a lot of money off supply drops alone. So, you know, why not give everyone free maps? It definitely would help their image a lot. Uh, but I guess that's all wishful thinking. I definitely want to see what's going to be happening with this year. So guys, be on the lookout for more teases coming later this week. I definitely do feel we're going to be getting some more. And uh, for sure within these next few weeks to come. So guys, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And tell me your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.